But I just remember just kind of this instant sense of awe in, in seeing Earth from space that way. I started to tear up a little bit just from the beauty of our planet. My definition of it is what happens to you, to a person, emotionally, how they perceive things or the world after being in space. I remember feeling this connection to it like I never really had, like down here in the middle of it. I tried to describe it to my son, who was seven, when I flew the first time. And the best way that I could think to do that, just the kind of the visual of it, was to say to him, imagine you're looking at the brightest light bulb you've ever seen and you splatter it with all the colors that you know Earth to be, and you turn it on, and it's like you almost, you know, you almost can't look at it because it's just so stunning, so glowing and, and bright and vibrant. And that's what looking at Earth was like. It was like this bright light bulb of earthly colors, and it always glowed. My first reaction was, this is too beautiful for people to look at. And it's, we're not meant to see this. It's like a secret. I actually turned my head. And then I realized that that was probably not the right thing to do because I was here in space and I should continue to look at the planet. So I looked back and then I got a bit emotional and I started to tear up a little bit just from the beauty of our planet. My first flight was uh, what we would call a long duration mission. I spent a little over three months on the International Space Station. From space, at night, you look at the planet and it's like it's alive. You're watching it to watch these thunderstorms across the planet and to realize that, oh my gosh, that thunderstorm that might've started in Florida, it is trickling all the way across the earth to Africa. I mean, it looks like neurons firing in a brain, you know? I was like, holy moly, there is not a single thing on earth that's alive or not alive, that isn't connected in some way and dependent on everything else. And that's why I think the simplicity of the idea of we live on a planet, we're all earthlings, you know, only border that matters is that thin blue line of atmosphere is so critical for us all to understand. If there are lake beds that are drying up, if there's uh, uh, the rainforest starting to disappear, signs of pollution, uh, you can see those from space. But the other thing that we've learned is that if we do a good job in trying to take care of our planet, the planet can heal itself. We can see that in observations from space, but we need to give our planet a chance to recover. When it comes to planet Earth, I want people to be aware that we are on a planet. Your planet is your spaceship. It provides you with all the life support you need. And we have to choose to live like crew members on this ship so that we can all survive and thrive.